YouTube, what's up, man? I'm back with the second game I played, Carry to get into the Mudhead League. You got the last gameplay video to 200 likes, so I'm going to go ahead and drop this one. If you want to see the next one, get this one to 200 likes, man. I really appreciate all the feedback y'all been giving me on these gameplays. Obviously, this is what I love to do is play other great players, and I know I love watching it myself. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope the commentary, that's all. But if you want to watch them live, the Twitch link is below in the chat. So make sure y'all go ahead and do that. Also, you know, if you like any of the offense you see, any defense you see, you can go ahead and hit that on MaddenTurf.com. Get both of my eBooks. If you want to play some of the other best players in the world, man, Players Lounge is the best website to do that. And that link is also below in my description. So like I said, I won the first game. I'm up one nothing. That feels good. There's no pressure on me right now. All the pressure in the world is on Kerry because if he loses, he's done. I have a little leeway. It's great. Three-game series. It's really, all, most of the time, shows who's the better player, man. Anybody can win one game. But if you take two games from a person, two out of three, I mean, that's a little better. I mean, four out of seven is a little better. And, you know, five out of nine is a little better, so on and so forth. But, like, like you said, I mean, I kept the same team as last game. We're going to try to stop Wham. You see Clowney right there fighting. I'm hyped. That's why I love Clowney. I think he's one of the best defensive players in the game. But there he catches me in a blitz, hits the flat route, and gets the first down with Tevin Coleman. We're fighting again. Amos, Patrick Peterson, Ramsey, and Dawkins did a good job of tackling Eddie George. You see how huge this guy is. I mean, he's an absolute monster. I mean, we see talk about Derrick Henry the last two years has been one of the best backs in the game because he's just huge. But, I mean, <laughs> Eddie George looks like an offensive lineman carrying the ball. We got Lawrence Taylor in the middle linebacker there, so he can shed and really make some plays on the run. Apke coming down. He got Tevin Coleman also, so he can bring him in when Eddie George is tired. He goes for a little pass play here. Patrick Peterson, boom, picked it off. And I made the adjustment to put him in a quarter because last game he hit that same pass play. I told you guys about Patrick Peterson being the best corner in the game. He hit that same pass play on me. So that time I was ready for it, able to go ahead and hit the, uh, put him in a quarter so he played the sideline a little bit more and make that interception with Patrick Peterson. Here we go, hitting a little baby curl over here, Tyreek Hill. You know what? We just take what the defense gives us. We don't really do too much as far as pressing the ball down the field. You know, you got to make the defense honest, keep them alive, keep them really feeling the underneath stuff. So they go ahead and take some chances, and you can get some big plays. And we're going to see that unfold as it does in most all my games, man. If you had the patience to take the underneath stuff, here we had the patience to go ahead and get a couple yards with Michael Vick. Remember, he is a weapon on the team. You know, you have to use him appropriately, man. If you're not going to use Michael Vick, then you might as well have a slow quarterback. So you got to, even though I pass a lot, you got to every once in a while just skirt out of the pocket. Get a nice little 11. You don't want to take a hit right there, but Vic's holding on to the ball right down the field. Here we go, another curl out over here to Philip Dorsett, and that's what it's about, going ahead and being able to uh, go get seven, get a pick, get seven, and boom. Now we're up seven, get the ball at half, kind of just in the position we were last game, feeling really groovy, offense and defense, special teams. It's all something that's working right now. Just stop Eddie. No big plays for Eddie. No big plays for Eddie. Here we go. Milton, my 10 cap, making plays, stopping Eddie George. That's really what I need. This time, boom, Lawrence Taylor pulling down the big fella, stopping him short. Get to a fourth down. Of course, he no huddles on the fourth down. Hopefully, we can get a stop right here. He might run it again. He does run again. We shoot it up here. Boom, Clowney. Ah, man, I took Clowney out of the play. A little bit of bad user by me taking Clowney out of the play, trying to strip and hit stick. Nice play, Eddie George. All we're getting is a dose of Eddie George, a dose of Eddie George, Eddie George, Eddie George, Eddie George. So as long as I don't give up a play over 10 yards, I feel fine. I feel like I don't really need to go crazy with my uh, with my defense. And Tevin Coleman, I mean, as soon as you're ready for Eddie George, he puts 92-speed Tevin Coleman out there to really uh, just, just throw you off a little bit. But really, he's just, I mean, this is really all it is is wham right now. Amos gets stiff arm there, and Brian Dawkins is carried pretty much into the end zone. He's going to be on the one-yard line here. Probably never going to be able to get Eddie George stop him short when he's on the inch line like that. So he goes down, pretty much ran every single play down the field. That was probably his best drive running. I'm not going to panic, though, because there was no huge play. He just was equally successful pretty much every play. There was nothing, you know, really bad about my defense. I thought that drive. So, we're going to gotta get some more points, man. He's tied the game up. We're going to take that to the two-minute warning. Hold on here. Lee's a big play. And that's what I'm talking about, man. You make them sit there and wait. You make them pick and choose, you know, when they're going to go ahead and play underneath. And you give up a big play to Randy Moss there to go 14-7. A little bit less time in the half. He still has a lot of time. He has two timeouts. It's still a minute, a minute, almost two minutes left. So, he can still run the ball. 
and that's what he's going to do, obviously. And, of course, you know, Eddie George just runs over Brian Dawkins. And Lawrence Taylor stops. It's kind of like last year with the truck glitch where people just get trucked and the rest of my team slows down and stops. So just like I got a one-play pass and he got a one-play touchdown, that's what I don't need. That's what I can't have defensively. But we gave one up. That's the first big one we gave up right there. So he goes on doing the knee hit, girl. You got to make some plays here. Boom, we hit the low ball over here to Moss. Get down before the defense can really, you know, hit Randy Moss there. Tevin Coleman, just try to stay honest. Run the rest of the clock. I know I get the ball at half. So I'm feeling really good about my potential to win this game. Though another one underneath to Gurley here. Hit Gurley underneath. Use my timeout. I have two timeouts left. I'm pretty much in field goal range already, and we're able to hit this big play over here to Tyreek Hill. Break a couple tackles. We still in bounds. I'm like, yeah, I'm a, actually, I'm going to go ahead and let the clock run. Hit another little dump off to Gurley. Hopefully get out of bounds. He does. I have 11 seconds left, two timeouts. Anything is in play here. He doesn't spy anybody. So, you know, Michael Vick, I said he's a weapon. Touchdown. Great execution. Use the whole clock. There's nothing left for him to do here. We're going to go to half 21-14, and I get the ball. The ability to go ahead and take the lead out of half. I mean, take the lead in the half and get the ball. We're going to double dip the chip, as they say. And, man, if I can score points here, that's going to be huge. Especially, as I say again, you're playing a runner. You want the lead. You want to dictate how he plays. First play, he runs a little cover, too. We're going to high ball up here to Gurley. Just tall enough to get over to DB and take it to the Baja. That's why I tell you guys I love Gurley because, man, obviously he's fast, can truck spin, but he's tall enough to not allow that safety to go ahead and moss me. I mean, that was a lucky play. He could have picked it. But if Gurley's 5'10", he definitely gets that interception. But Gurley, I mean, obviously y'all guys see Gurley's probably my best player on offense. But I just want to tackle, man. That, tackle. that time Patrick Peterson took it in the face. But everybody swarmed and tackled. Once again, boom, somebody took it in the face. But Amos and Dawkins are there. Good job. I just want to bring them down. No big plays, man. We're up 14 points. Make them work. Make them take some time off the clock. Once again, he hits his flat route underneath my man Tevin Coleman. Good tackle by Apke. Anticipate that spin back to the middle. Somebody fight. Nobody's fighting here. Ramsey doesn't get. He spins with Eddie George that time, and we're able to make a play. Lawrence Taylor rips his face off. Not one fumble from Eddie George. He's not going to cough it up. Apke wraps him up. Let's go. Third and long. Of course, he's running it again. Milton comes in, and this is strange, man. He hasn't. I don't have an incompletion, and he kicks the field goal. You know, I mean, fourth and six, you might. Go for that, but the field goal kept it a two-score game. So now I feel a lot of comfort right now with a two-score game with the ball where I know if I get a touchdown, this is definitely over. So I also want to take some time off the clock, hopefully get to the fourth quarter, dump it off the girly here, a little spin, just a couple yards, baby yards, that's all. If you take the baby yards, he's going to give up a big play, I promise. This time we go with a little hitch, but we go up top to the door set. He manned them up with, I think that's Micah Hyde, 23, or Lattimore, somebody too slow to guard door set. Or set fries him, and now we're in field goal range. Now it's all about the clock. Try to go high ball to Moss here. He mans up a linebacker on him or a 29. I don't know who that is. Manned up on Moss, runs right by him, hit him with the 08 one hand spec catch. Now we are up by 18 points. This game is cooked. Carries there's nothing, nowhere for him to go. Has all the time in the world right here. I try to click on Milton and go back and get that, but you know, just like I said, just keep him in bounds. Hopefully, he gets to the four from up three scores, a big three scores. Tackle Eddie George. That's what it's about. Straight up. Clowney came back and grabbed him. That's what I'm talking about. Your lineman having speed, man. He disengaged and went back and got got the running back there. So Clowney making big plays for me, obviously. See, again, Lawrence Taylor getting mauled. Amos not, not hit sticking him, but bringing him down. That's bring the big fella down. That's what it's about. He throws underneath to uh, whew, Coleman. He really zipped through there. Got inside the 10. Just, just make him run some time. And Lawrence Taylor just got evaporated by Eddie George. It's all about the time now. That's all it's about. So he goes as and scores. He's going to go for two. Of course, he's going to get the ball to Eddie George again. Just hit the right stick up and get into the end zone. Now I just want time, man. I'm up 10 points. He uses a timeout. If we can get into the timeout, that's good. Put a little baby hitch over there to Tyree Kill. Just picking up yards. 17 for 17. This is surgical right now, boys. Bang. Ty Gurley stay in bounds. Do not, you know, step out of bounds to stop the clock. Bring milk it all the way down to one second. That's okay, man. We're going to take another 30 off the clock here. Another run. We're not running for anything special, but another 30 off the clock. We get to we get another first down. Just time, time. We're inside of two minutes. He's going to use his timeouts here. That's all it's about, man. Finally get to a fourth and five. I didn't want to go for this, but I went for it anyway. 
made a late read, my first incompletion in the game. We turned the ball over, and we're just going to fast forward through his struggle fest of offense here, man, because when you get a runner down 10 points, they have no timeouts, they can't run the ball anymore, and right now it's pretty much just no big plays over the top. That's all I feel. Lawrence Taylor just killing people. Nice job by him. So, this feels good, man. It pretty much seems I'm going to be in a mudhead league. I'm excited about it. Uh, you know, when you stop a, Obviously, when you play a runner, man, you guys say stopping a run. I mean, I don't want to say I stopped the run so well. I, like, I dominated the run. He couldn't run on me. It was more about that I always had to lead because I just continued to score, man. If you continue to score against runners, you're going to be able to slow down the run because they can't just stick on the run. And here we go. He throws a little playmaker up. And the best corner in the game, you know what he's going to do. Go and dive and jump in front of Tevin Coleman and pick that off. Great click on, great corner, my man, Patrick Peterson. That's going to cause him to tap out, and that's what it's about, man. You know, got the win. We're in the Mudhead League. Really excited about it. I'm going to talk about it on a podcast this week, Tuesday. Check it out. 6 p.m. is my podcast. Also, check for that on YouTube. It's going to be popping. So we're going to talk about the Mudhead League. It's tons of great players, and you're not going to miss how many people made it. I'm excited to compete. Like I said, check out those games on live on my Twitch. The link is below, man. Get this video to 200 likes.